All right, do you? Here's a. Uh, this is a 3000 Ford pump, which is uh, similar to yours, but uh, a little different. I think yours doesn't have the idler gear that goes here. I think it drives directly off the cam. Your, your shaft is here, and it doesn't have the idler. Um, same type of deal, piston pump. These are the pistons, and uh, here's all your check valves and springs and stuff. Uh, this is the kit we got, but that is for a 2000, 3000 Ford, and this is for a 3000 Ford pump. Uh, yeah, this is the shaft seal. It goes down in here, uh, sits on the shaft like that. You have to remove this race, which is the thrust bearing for here because the pistons push directly on this swash plate. Uh, the reason it is sucking in engine oil is because this area, which is here, is open to the suction line, which is that, and it's easier to suck the engine oil in than it is to uh, suck oil from underneath the belly of the tractor. So that's why you're you're losing engine oil. Uh, I'm going to set this together a little bit and I'll bring you back. Alright, I pushed the needle bearing down in there and then the seal. And I talked to the, uh, the old Ford guy and he said be sure to pack that seal with grease so in case the, uh, the spring doesn't come off, the, the garter spring doesn't come off the seal. And then you put this uh, upper cone in because the OD of that seal was bigger than the ID of this uh, bearing cone. I put the uh, springs and the balls in here with the gasket. Uh, these are the ball retainers. This flips over and sets down on that. Uh, this shaft goes in that housing that way um, with the gear and the nut on the bottom end. Uh, Alright, I'll bring you back in a minute. Alright, put the plate on, put the screw in there and the Ford guy said around here and make sure all the check valves are seating on the plate because uh, now's the time if they're screwed up. The bolt retained that so if you split the back cover off that uh, there's no chance of losing those balls. What you will have to do is get this gasket off. That's the wrong way. You gotta go like this. Okay, and then watch this o-ring here, but there's balls that go in these seats here. These are piston holes here. These are the seats. So the rest of these balls are going there. The shaft will go in the housing that way, so I'll bring it back. Alright, I slid the shaft in there with the keyway in it through that gear the nut and the washer on that end. That's a new lock nut. And tightened it down. Uh, you'll have to take that off to get the seal out, which is underneath this bearing. This is just a thrust bearing. And there's a tapered roller bearing in here, like we had. Uh, this plate rides against the pistons. Pistons ride in here. I put the balls in with their guides. The springs are there. I did change this gasket. This gasket was below and I put it above and I rechecked my check valves to make sure they're all free. Uh, yeah. So now we're ready to... We need to set this thing all together and get the pistons in and get the thing lined up. Uh, O-ring goes in the bottom of this housing. 
That's it here. Uh, and I'll have to put the idler gear in, but you won't have that idler gear because the older pumps didn't need that that depth. They drove right off this front gear in the pump, drove right off the camshaft. So, yep, we'll, I'll bring you back in a minute. All right, I had to uh, pull these little retainers out of here and use the old ones because uh, the little balls down there were hanging up on the little legs and uh, wouldn't, let, wouldn't let the balls seat. So I just put the old ones back in, none of them were broke, so uh, now I can put that back on. I had problems with the balls wooden seats. So. Okay, DU, this is all you should ever have to do. As long as the back ain't leaking and them gaskets aren't messed up, you shouldn't have to go any further than this. Uh, you see the check valves down in there. I went through and made sure all of them were seating. The inlet checks are around the outside, and I went through, you see it down there, made sure they were seating. Drop the pistons in. These are all new piston springs. Come in the kit. That is a Tisco kit, I was told. So, put all the springs in. Grease this o ring. So, like I said, the thrust bearings go this way and this plate, and that's what runs the pistons. As it goes around, it pushes. And this cavity here is connected to the suction. This is your big line, that's the suction. And that is why she's sucking, oil, sucking engine oil out of the, out of the engine. So. All right, I'll get this together and bring it back. All right, I torqued the rear bolts. These torque wrench, uh, I took them up to 35 foot-pounds. I think that's probably maximum on a 3 8 grade five bolt. So uh, I put an O-ring in here. And this little plate is over top. There's a snap ring that holds that in. Uh, torque these bolts, and all we gotta do is put the gear in. So, alright, um, and I did put some oil in it, I put some automatic transmission fluid in it, and turned it over, and she is pumping, so we're good to go. Uh, yeah, one more time here, I'll put that gear in and uh, we'll call it a day. Hold on, I'll be back. All right, I got the drive for the idler shaft in. I got a new O-ring on it. There's a thrust washer here. Pump does turn. And you can hear it pumping. So, yeah, we're in good shape. I had to put this into here and a new roll pin. Yeah, hard to do if you think. And I got a gasket. So. All right. Uh, and maybe this will help you out. Uh, thanks for watching.